Hi, my name is Bob Gazda. Here at MWC, one of our demonstrations is in the area of edge computing. Edge computing is a 5G enabling technology that embeds application resources within or very close to radio access networks. Um, this technology is important for 5G in the area of low latency communication. Uh, it, it's certainly important to, to enable mission critical uh, use cases. Uh, and that's one of the demos that we're doing here. So we're demonstrating uh, a drone traffic management system. It's called UTM for short. This system has two components. It has a core UTM backend component. Uh, this part of the system runs in the cloud. Uh, the core UTM is responsible for strategic mission planning. So that's uh, uh, about uh, approving flight paths before the drones are, are flying. Then we also have a, an edge component, edge UTM. Uh, this is a, an edge application that's deployed very close to where the drones are operating in the city that's doing some collaborative uh, fusion of sensor information. That can be telemetry data that's being reported by the drones, could be obstacle information that the drones are seeing. So if the drones are seeing um, some uncontrolled objects, um, um, that data also gets fused. Could also be um, ground sensors, could also take into information from ground sensors. Uh, they could be radar or LIDAR or, or other, other sensors such as, such as those. And then what this is doing, it, it, we call it DAA, it's a detect and avoid. So the edge, this edge service is going to detect collision risks and try to mitigate them in a group, uh, uh, a group type of manner. This is especially important when the drones are operating in an urban environment where a drone may not be able to see uh, around corners. So it's, uh, the drone would be disadvantaged if it was operating just uh, full, uh, fully autonomous, autonomously or in a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, -peer manner. So for our demonstration, what we have is we have a, a set of six drones that are flying around uh, Center City, Philadelphia. Um, the drones are operating in an, a drone emulation environment. It's called uh, UGCS. Uh, we're following one of the drones, uh, Drone 201, as it makes, a, it makes its way around the city. Uh, that's the, the drone here at the bottom, uh, the bottom of the corner. This drone is taking a large loop around the city. Uh, then our other drones are, are flying in shorter, uh, shorter flight paths. Now for the, for the demo here, we've purposely done a poor job of strategic mission planning. So we've created flight paths that are going to cause these drones to come into contact with each other. And uh, the reason we're doing that is so we can show uh, the capabilities of the edge, uh, the edge DAA and see it mitigate, uh, uh, mitigate collision risks. And you can tell as our drone flies around the city, it can't see around, it can't see around corners. And this is an example of what the edge DAA service can do. Uh, drone 205 paused, it did a hold operation to allow uh, drone 201, uh, 201 to, go, to go by. Now, as you can see in the demonstration, we have three points of attachment, uh, uh, wireless cell towers uh, that are in the city. Uh, and as the drones move uh, across the city, they're gonna associate with one of these cell towers. That's what the green, yellow, and blue happens to be. It shows which point of attachment a particular drone is currently connected with. And then we have a fog node installed at each one of these, uh, at each, at each one of these uh, point of attachment sites. Now, an important aspect of this application is it's, it's stateful. So the, an edge DAA instance is keeping context information about each drone. So what needs to take place is the state of a drone needs to transfer from one edge DAA instance to another while it's moving around the city. And that's what we were seeing here. Uh, the, the serving node is where, um, where a drone is currently getting its edge DAA service. And then here's an example, this 202 is moving from fog three to fog, to fog one. Now we have all of this running on top of a mobile edge emulation platform that InterDigital has developed. We call it Advantage. This is a agile development environment for edge application developers, uh, edge researchers, uh, also network, uh, network planners to experiment with uh, different edge network configurations. The emulation environment allows a, uh, an experimenter or a user to, to, to emulate a full end-to-end -end network. 
So here uh, in our demo, we have our three points of attachment. They are the same ones that we were seeing uh, above in the Edge DAA dashboard. We have a fog node deployed at each of these points of attachment. Uh, and that's where the Edge DAA service is being, uh, is being hosted. And then we have our core UTM uh, backend uh, being deployed in the cloud. Now what this emulator does is it allows a, an experimenter to set the network characteristics that they would, they would expect to see in a physical network. Um, that's in terms of um, latency, throughput, jitter, and packet loss. So this is a, a containerized platform. The same containers you would deploy in a, a physical edge network, you can also deploy here in the emulator. And the software running in those containers will, will have the same, um, will experience the same network characteristics as you would expect in the real, in the real world. Now what, what this allows, it allows a, a user to rapidly iterate um, their application, see, uh, make, make choices about where in the network they should place different components, uh, what is the impact of latency as one example on their application, uh, what does it mean if I, I deploy at a, a fog level at a point of attachment or further back in an aggregation site and, th and those things.